Hello everybody and welcome back to the Excessive Gaming Channel and Farming Simulator 2017. This is our Let's Play series here on Estancia La Pacio in South America. Excuse if we have said that wrong. Uh, today we are up to episode number three. So if you could quickly drop us a like, it would be much appreciated. And of course if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. So, let's jump into today. What are we doing? Episode number three, we're going to jump into the Challenger MT875E, the Field Python. This is a free tractor that we purchased last time around. We're going to head off to the store a bit quick, because what we are going to be doing is some uh, manure spreading today. Muck spreading. I've got uh, plenty of manure in there. Uh, what we should quickly do is just check uh, how much manure we actually have. Where's the animals? Somewhere here. There we go. So we've got, uh, what, 34,500 litres of manure in there. So we're going to, like I say, do a bit of muck spreading today. Not very often uh, we do the muck spreading. Usually because uh, we haven't got any manure to start off with. But uh, yeah, we're going to get the manure spreading done before uh, nightfall. It's six o'clock in the evening already, so not too long to get this done. Get down to the store and back. But yeah, like I say, today is episode number three. Hopefully you have been enjoying. And what we just need to do is quickly adjust some settings because we've previously adjusted it for another game hopefully everything should be running smoothly so here we are at the store once again still got two bits of uh, kit down here that we've got to run down and pick up but we're gonna go into the store and look at manure spreaders and we've got thirty four and a half thousand liters of manure sitting around so I think the uh, Strautman would be the best bet, although we do have the other two there. Yeah, I think the Strautman at 32,000 litres will be ample. 15 metre spread, we will purchase that one. Requires 220 horsepower. I think this tractor is well capable of that. Let's get this back to the uh, farm. So yeah, like I say, a bit of uh, muck spreading today. And the uh, back opens up there and it walking floor inside pulls it all to the edge and then obviously churns it all out. Is the way that it works. So like I say, we we'll get off back to the farm, and of course we're going to need our front loader. Hopefully, the uh, little Massey Ferguson's front loader will be high enough to load up. If not, this is going to be quite embarrassing. going to do is just park it up here for the time being like so climb into the bushes yeah quickly run on over to get the Massey Ferguson with front loader 4709 I believe it is here it is just here it's already got the bucket attached, yeah, the 4709. That's a nice little uh, compact tractor this one is. Certainly ideal for the yard work. It's pretty nippy as well for its size.
Whoa, dear. I'm guessing the uh, <laughs> minion's a lot heavier than uh, the tractor is. Okay, so. Before we can do that, yeah, we're going to have to get a weight on the back. This is where it doesn't help with that additional weight that's built into the front of this tractor. So we'll squeeze through here, I believe it is, winding the trailer. It's not very professional. Oh dear, we're hitting the building as well now. It's all going wrong. So we put a nice big weight on the back. There we go. That's uh, what we put on the back there. There's like 2.3 tons we've just put on the back of this. Certainly, uh, it's 2,300 kilos, which I believe works out to be 2.3 tons. So if I'm wrong, please uh, correct me with that. You can do so by just dropping your comments down below. So there we go, yeah, it's much better now. So is the front loader high enough? It is just. So yeah, we're going to get this filled up. Hopefully we've got enough to actually put onto the field. If not, then uh, we're only going to be able to do half the field. It is quite a large field, of course. What we are going to do is use a worker to do the job. I think. Yeah, backwards and forwards, raising and lowering the uh, bucket, of course. It does get a little bit tedious after a while, but uh, it's all part of our realistic farm. What we could do if we was playing unrealistic, of course, is uh, tell our worker to load it up directly from the uh, manure pit instead of actually buying uh, buying it himself which of course would cost you a small fortune that takes away this process of actually loading these wagons yourself again if you're uh, aiming for the realism then uh, it's a job that needs doing I think we might be struggling to get this done before uh, nightfall so what we'll do is get the trailer loaded and we can continue the job in the morning of course with the feature of seasons you can of course go to the farmhouse and actually sleep which automatically skips the night for you but bearing in mind if you've not got enough uh, feeds and waters for the animals to last them the night you will wake up and find a lot of your animals have died so just bear that in mind So 
I think maybe we should perhaps invest in a larger front loader, maybe a wheel loader. But at the moment, this seems ample for the size farm. So when it comes to us doing silage, we will be doing uh, a full silage harvest at some point. Apologies for that getting uh, very dark a bit quick. It's only quarter to seven in the evening. dark very very quickly so what we're going to do like I say is just finish loading this up and then we'll uh, skip through to the morning Uh, of course, if the everything doesn't rot away that uh, we've got, of course, if you leave things under out of uh, cover, they do rot away. Should be uh, nearly full by now. And there we go. What we're going to do with that little bit, just drop it back in the pit. So, we'll turn that off there. What we're going to do, we have 32,000 litres of manure in there. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. We'll just park this up ready, and I believe we are going to go and get some sleep. So shut that off there, and we'll come back in the morning. Running off to the farmhouse. I'm hoping it is 7 o'clock is the time. I'll open the weather forecast for us as well. We can sleep just yet. So, unfortunately, we are going to have to work in the night. So, let's make a start. Not the ideal thing to do. In fact, what we're going to do is we're going to jump cut the video there, I think. We'll come back in the morning and we'll see you in a tick. Okay, good morning everybody. Welcome back. As you can see, it's now ten past six in the morning 
Uh, we did manage to get to sleep. It came up uh, just after 8 o'clock. And as you see, all the money's just gone out for the various bits and pieces. So yeah, what we're going to do is make a start with uh, the muck spreading. Get ourselves a nice screenshot whilst we are at it, I think. Just there. So yeah, we're going to jump in and make a start. We are still going to do this with the worker, I think, is probably best. We will ride along and supervise. there. Let's, uh, there we go. Make sure we're over enough, that way we won't miss any. So all we need to do is unfold the back there. As you see that opens up, allowing the walking floor to push it all in. And then this actual spreader at the back there does the job. So what we're going to do, like I say, is... Uh, is it not going to let me hire a worker? Yes it is, there we go. We have to start him off ourselves. So that's uh, pretty much what it does. You can't really see where it's... Uh, going particularly well. We can actually. So when you zoom right out, yeah, you can only just see it with the colour of the soil. But yeah, you can see it on there. Only just. So like I say, we'll leave this to the worker now. As you can see he stops as he gets to the edge of the fields. He'll turn around measuring the distance exactly between the two without uh, without missing any on the return run there we go so that'll put a course of fertilizer down and then when we come to actually digging in when it comes to actually planting uh, we'll be turning the soil over again and that will dig that manure into the soil making for a better crop of course Just a little bit there on the ploughing, look. Not to worry. So yeah, not the uh, best weather for today looking at this. Although it is still early in the day. We are still early spring of course. Field python, of course, that we purchased in the last episode is looking good, looking a bit dirty though, but it's to be expected with these kind of jobs. Like I said, we are going to be using this uh, as the main field tractor.
certainly burning through this uh, manure, of course. So like we say, this is episode number three of series number six. I know it's early in the series, but are you enjoying? Do you think uh, where the vote was made for this map, do you think the vote was right? Or do you think uh, we should have, should have been playing another map? Let us know in the comment section down below. Again, we value all your feedback. Forty percent left in that trailer. And we've still got quite a bit to do. And we're just about halfway now, I think, and we've got thirty-six percent. We may well. Uh, be needing some more or what we could do like I say is turn it on to let him finish manure in the field and we could just get him to buy the manure thousand two hundred litres left twenty five percent of the trailer I don't think we're gonna quite do it I think it will only be a fraction though just looking at the animal menu the cleanliness is right down so we need to get them cleaned up we've got another seven thousand eight hundred litres though of manure there so potentially we could just fill it back up we should have enough to finish the field then I suppose that would be the advantage of skipping through the night it has allowed a bit more to build up So what we are going to do with this series is try and keep it relatively realistic. Can't be perfect with the realism, but we will certainly try. great demand for sunflowers at the transport company uh, where about is that that would be right up the top of the map it's 
So we would need the train, of course, to do that. So we've got 1,450 litres left. We're definitely not going to have enough. Should say the worker has stopped unexpectedly because the tan tank is empty. And there we go. So what we're going to do, we fold the muck spreader back up. I'm just going to head back to the cow pit, fill the last 7,000 litres up. And hopefully that will be enough. If it's not, then we, of course... We need. Uh, let's get our worker to purchase. Shut the engine off there for a moment. Jump back into the uh, Massey Ferguson 4709. And start the loading process once again. Now you could um, put yourself the conveyor belts in here to save yourself that bit of time which then you'd need to do is just pull alongside and it'd start loading straight away again that's not something uh, we plan on doing just yet really invest in when uh, your farm's a lot bigger. this scoop and then I believe one more hopefully we'll have enough Okay, that is the last of that. Yeah, we'll, uh, just leave that there for the time being. We can come back for it in just a second. Yeah, 8,100 litres is what we've got. Like I say, hopefully we'll have enough. we need to do of course is just find out where we was up to so you can just about see the uh, colour change in the soil so we've got to about two and a half rows or so left there we go so 
so we'll hire a worker, off he goes. Hopefully we uh, don't miss any. Hopefully we've got enough left in the spreader. So I'm guessing about two rows left, there may be a little strip at the end. theory this should be wide enough just yeah that should be wide enough question is is there enough in the muck spreader to do the job it's running it out very quickly Can you believe that? Sign a little bit there. So what we're going to do is just change some settings a bit quick. Tell the uh, worker to buy the uh, manure and then we'll hire the worker again. And off he goes for that last little bit. And there we go. So before we forget it, we will get that turn off. There we go. Fold that up. And then that is that job done. So we will put the muck spreader down uh, near the actual manure pit. That would be the best bet. pile of grass they've got there. I need to get that picked up. I think that's the job for tomorrow. So we will drop the manure spreader there. Very dirty challenger back up. All we'll do is just park it in here for the time being. There we go. So that is that job done. Another day finished, I think. We will come back uh, tomorrow with another episode and we'll make an effort at tidying the cows up because they have made a very big mess just outside the trough there's more out here than there's in there I think but anyway that's going to be it for today hopefully you have enjoyed if you have remember to hit that like button it'd be much appreciated and of course if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well but there we go Thank you very much for watching and we shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.